The serpentine belt plays a major role in the front-end accessory drive system. It works with the pulley's intentioner to transmit torque from the crankshaft to the surrounding accessories. While these components have advanced over the years, they are still susceptible to cracks, wear, and misalignment issues because of their constant exposure to extreme driving conditions. Regular maintenance checks are key to properly diagnosing and solving belt noise and alignment issues for today's heavy-duty fleet vehicles. The first line of action is inspecting a belt for wear, and you can no longer rely on your eyes to tell the whole story. Today's EPDM belts wear differently than their predecessors. With a neoprene belt, it was pretty easy to tell by the belt's appearance when it needed to be changed. But with EPDM belts, it's more difficult. That's because they tend to wear the same way as tire tread. The rib profile gradually gets worn down and changes over time. One of the best ways to measure wear is by using a tool like the Deco Awareness Gauge. This innovative device will help you identify belt wear by looking at the rib profile, analyzing rib depth, and checking for cracks. To check the rib depth, place the belt flat into the tool. Keep it level and check to see where the top of the bar sits. On a new belt, it should sit higher than the top of the belt's rib tips. On a worn belt, the bar will be lower to measure the rib profile, place the profile indicator in the belt grooves. On a new belt, you shouldn't see side or flank clearance, but a traditional V profile in the grooves. On a worn belt after extensive use, the ribs begin to bottom out and the groove profile will take on the appearance of a U. Once the rib profile is changed, less material will actually make contact with the pulleys. This can cause slippage and affect the performance of the accessories, possibly resulting in noise and alignment issues. Finally, to measure for cracks, just hold the belt up to the window. If you see four or more cracks, the belt needs to be replaced. During inspection and replacement, it's important to ensure there is no risk or signs of contamination. This includes exposure to any foreign matter on any part or application the belt might come in contact with, including the pulley's intentioner. The work environment needs to be as clean as possible and the use of chemicals should be avoided. Oils, solvents, paint, belt dressing, cleaners, and engine fluids can all contaminate a belt and lead to a number of problems including swelling, noise, surface disruptions, pilling, and peeling. Contamination ultimately reduces belt life and impacts its ability to perform in high temperatures. Another big problem with belt maintenance is noise, but you'll be surprised to know that most noise is not the fault of the belt. It is usually related to misalignment or slip issues due to worn out components. The best way to troubleshoot noise is to conduct a water test. When the vehicle is idling, spray water on the rib surface. If the noise stops and resumes within a few seconds, it's a misalignment chirp. If it gets louder and then returns to its original levels, it is a slip squeal. Let's look at each noise individually, the main causes and best solutions. We'll start by analyzing the chirp. All mechanics know this noise. It's definitely not music to your ears. It's high-pitched, sharp, and repetitive. It's often worse at lower speeds and may blend but diminish in intensity depending on speed. Some of the main causes of a chirp include pulley misalignment, worn belt ribs, worn pulley bearings, or contamination. It could also be caused by using a low-quality belt. First and foremost, check the alignment of the pulleys using a laser alignment tool like the one in the Deco Belt Diagnostic Kit. Pay close attention to the range of problems that can occur when the pulley is even slightly off. Anything from 1 to 2.5 degrees off and you increase the risk of noise exponentially. You will also need to ensure all accessory pulleys and brackets are tight and snug to mounting surfaces. Inspect and replace all accessories and pulleys that are difficult to rotate. Be on the lookout for rough or seized bearings or excessive wobble or free rock. Now, let's take a closer look at the squeal. Nobody wants a truck that sounds like a pig. This high-pitched noise can last several seconds. It increases in volume as engine speed increases. A squeal is caused by a slip between the belt and pulleys and is usually either due to low belt tension or problems that arise from contamination exposure. 
The first step to addressing the squeal is to ensure that belts installed on manual tensioned applications are properly tensioned. During installation, a belt tension gauge should be used to tighten each belt to 35 pounds per rib and then retensioned after five minutes of run-in at 30 pounds per rib. This allows the belt to seat in the pulleys. For those vehicles with an automatic tensioner, double check that the pulley turns freely without binding. The tensioner arm should move smoothly through its entire range of motion and there should be adequate tension. Always check the tensioner bearing for noise and wear. Replace any tensioner where the bearing feels rough or if the pulley has any run out or wobble. Before the belt is put back on, all accessory pulleys and idlers should be thoroughly inspected to ensure free and smooth rotation. If there is binding or rough rotation caused by a dry bearing, then the pulley should be replaced. Finally, double check to make sure the belt has not been exposed to any chemicals like motor oil, power steering fluid, antifreeze, or other petroleum-based lubricants. This will weaken the belt and can lead to swelling and noise, so replace any serpentine belt that has been oil soaked and never try to solve issues with belt dressing. That is a recipe for disaster. Remember too, if even one component needs to be changed, they typically all do. System replacement is the best route to avoiding comebacks and choosing OE equivalent products will help maximize uptime. Daco has been working with heavy-duty OEMs for 90 years, so we build that technology right into our aftermarket products. In fact, more than 2,500 design, development, and testing hours go into every Daco product, which means you get the best quality and performance. Be sure to check out the Daco app when you need to find more specific information for a certain type of belt. You can search a number of different ways, so it's easy to find what you're looking for.